Greetings, friends. It's an honor once again to welcome you back to Rick's Garage. What you see before you is a project I've been working on in my spare time. I've had the truck in the garage for a couple of months now, and um, you may have seen it from time to time in the background of some of my videos. What I'm doing for a very dear friend of mine is trying to save this truck. Um, the whole floor pan was gone. This piece here that bridges from the front to the back that the rocker panel attaches to was gone. There was really nothing to weld to. So I've been uh, chipping away at this. I've installed a um, an aftermarket floor pan. I patched this area that had a hole. I put on this bridge that bridged from the front to the rear. I just put in this patch. And so now I'm working on putting a cover over this hole right here. And then once I get that done, a couple other small holes to patch, and then I can start putting the rocker panel back on. But that's not what this video is about today. I just wanted to show you what I was working on. What I wanted to show you today is this Plumatic sheet metal shear from uh, Harbor Freight. It's Central Plumatic. Prior to this, I was trying to cut the metal with uh, hand shears, and it was just exhausting work. These are the hand shears I had been using. Now this tool only sells for $27 and change and it's worth every single penny of it. Let me demonstrate how nicely it works. Okay, so I've got a line drawn on this piece of sheet metal that I'm gonna cut to put on that truck. And if I didn't mention before, this is air powered. So I'm going to connect up my air and I'm hoping you can see this. I'm lining it up with the line I scribed on this and it's going to cut through it like butter. Perfect. How easy was that? I would have been a half an hour trying to cut through it with these and uh, I would have gotten blisters. So I had made up my mind, um, I wanted to buy replacement blades for it and I said to myself, well you know, even if blades are not available, at $27 if it ever gets dull, I'll just buy another one. You know, it's cheap enough. But uh, lo and behold, the blades are available for it. They do sell them in the store and the blades are only six bucks. So it's... Uh, really a no-brainer i'm so happy i bought this thing it's making this job so much easier i'm going to take you to the uh, harbor freight website here and i'm going to show you the shear that i purchased here it is right here you can see it's uh, very inexpensive and if you wish to purchase the replacement blades for it here they are right here they're also very inexpensive now i've looked at some other shears online the shears can go for as much as $80 to $100, and the replacement blades are sometimes up to $40. So this is really a great alternative. I don't know how well it'll hold up, but for my money, I don't really care. <laughs> it's working great for me. So I'm going to get back to work on this truck. I want to thank you once again for watching Rick's Garage. Before I go, I'll place two videos to your left. Feel free to click on one or the other, should you find them of interest. And to your right will be a picture of my trusty avatar in the form of my German Shepherd. Please, by all means, feel free to click on that should you wish to subscribe. So thanks again, and we hope to see you all very, very soon.